right, I'm going to quickly explain what we got here. 1973 225 amp Miller welder. I don't remember the model name off the top of my head. Well used. Low hours. It's got an 18 horse owning CCK engine family motor on it. This is before oil filters were in existence. So you can tell here we got custom ignition wires. Custom wires going to the ignition system. The air filter has oil in it. Unlike nowadays where they're actual filter. Now I'll go into detail of what's wrong with it. If you notice the discoloration on the windings here, you see how this is light, see how that's dark? The lacquer has come off the windings over, you know, the better part of 40 years of use. There is no way to fix this other than to rewind it. So what I've done is cut off the remaining five zip ties that probably supposed to be 40. I started pulling and picking the windings apart, and believe it or not, I actually got the resistance to come back up to where it's supposed to be. And all I did is, like I said, just see where that one's loose. Just pulled them apart, hit them with a bunch of clear coat. These are the wires coming from that winding. There's three, it's three poles. They go to the three diodes here which then go to this plate which fires off the main coil which is your actual power generation and welding coil this is a 115 volt dc coil it has to be excited by 12 volts dc in order for it to start double throw f you switch spare parts from the last time i worked on it which was months ago the resistor in there is a i believe a four ohm the old school rectifier plate the brush assembly and since i was clear coating these windings trying to do what's left of it i covered it up take the carburetor off you have to take off this bolt and that bolt. Thought was more interesting that you actually have to take the whole intake manifold off in order to get the carburetor off. There's my two bolts. That gasket's fucked. Nine bolts that hold the head on. Yeah, that's what it looks like when you have bad rings. So this is on a firing stroke. I'm gonna wire wheel this. With cylinder head bolts, it's important to be precise. What the f***? Really? This f***ing shit right here. I may try and see if I got better bolts. I mean, come on, really? It just keeps getting better and better. So I plug a little 12-volt LED into the coil over there to see if I was getting spark or not. Taking apart the points box. Signature. I'm pretty sure that's Bud Light. Uh, gasket. Anyway, I'm going to poke around in here and see if I can figure out why it's not sparking. Probably a condenser problem or... The fact is a mud dauber's nest in there may also have something to do with it. I'm pretty sure it's what that bullshit is. Uh, yeah, we'll go from here. All right, clean that out. Leave our cover off for now. Had to swap out a battery. Let's see what we get. Well, there you have it. Got it to run. I don't know if I'll be able to hook up power to it yet because we still got some intake gasket issues. The uh, the cylinder's not firing, you can tell, because it doesn't get hot at all. That and my foil gasket, I'm pretty sure it's gasket issues. Carburetor no still leaks, but I think it may work. Otherwise, once I get this thing up to speed, I can actually check and see if it'll make some electricity or not. Uh, that may be further on down the road because I really don't want to put money into it at the moment. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. If y'all want power out of it, tell me. We'll see if we can get some power out of it. Otherwise, if nothing else, I may just pull the motor off of the alternator. I, I, I don't know. It's it's kind of a novelty. I know these CCK motors are common. A lot of people like them. I wouldn't be opposed to just giving it to somebody who wants it either. I just, I mean, I, I hate to scrap shit like this.